What if I told you that increasing memory and processing speed won't be the only determinants of future technology? Would you believe me if I told you that a revolution so massive it might alter the basic foundations of our reality is about to happen? Does it sound silly to you? Well, quantum computing is here to make it a reality. And it's not just a random coincidence that quantum computing is taking center stage right now. On June 7, 2024, the United Nations proclaimed 2025 as the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology. As 2025 marks a historic milestone, the 100th anniversary of a notable paper by the German physicist Werner Heisenberg. His Nobel Prize winning work laid the foundation for quantum mechanics, unlocking the secrets of the subatomic domain and paving the way for the development of quantum computing as we know it today. Even though we use classical computing daily, certain issues are too big and complicated for a typical computer to handle in a reasonable length of time. This is where quantum computing takes charge. Information storage and manipulation are essential functions shared by all computers. Individual bits which store information as binary 0 and 1 states are manipulated by modern computers. For instance, our computer interprets the letter A as a certain series of 1s and zeros when human eyes sees it. All computer programs including Word, Excel, social media, video games and spreadsheets use these strings of 1s and zeros, a matrix-style representation of bits, to do various tasks. Quantum computers employ qubits instead of bits as do modern computers. But what is this qubit exactly? So now let's imagine a qubit as spinning coin. While the coin is spinning, it's in a state of superposition, representing both heads and tails. It's only when you stop the coin and observe it that it settles into one state or the other. This is similar to how qubits work, allowing quantum computers to perform multiple calculations at once. Our laptops and computers use bits, which can be either 0 or 1, to store and process information. On the other hand, quantum computers use quantum bits or qubits, which can exist as 0, 1 or both simultaneously. This phenomenon known as superposition is one of the key principles that give quantum computers their incredible computational power. Now you might be thinking how can something be both 0 and 1 at the same time? Qubits can also become entangled with each other, meaning their states are inextricably linked even if they are physically separated. This strange phenomenon allows quantum computers to perform calculations in parallel, enabling them to tackle problems that would take classical computers millions of years to solve. The next question is, how do we use this quantum power? Well, that's where quantum algorithms comes into play. These specialized programs are designed to manipulate the qubits in a way that harnesses the principles of quantum mechanics, such as interference, to amplify the probability of getting the correct answer. This shows that quantum computers would be thousands of times quicker than our existing computers, potentially lowering the time required to tackle a challenging issue from hundreds of thousands of years to only seconds. Now let's understand it with an example. Try to picture yourself searching for a needle among a pile of needles. With a classical computer, you would have to search through the pile of needles one piece at a time, which could take forever. But with quantum computer, you can take advantage of superposition and entanglement to search through all the possible combinations simultaneously, exponentially increasing your chances of finding the needle in no time. And this quantum advantage isn't just theoretical, it's a reality that has already been demonstrated. In 2019, Google made headlines when they announced that they had achieved quantum supremacy with their 53 qubit quantum computer named Sycamore. This term coined by theoretical physicist John Preskill refers to the point where a quantum computer can solve a problem that is practically impossible for even the most powerful classical computer. And that's exactly what Sycamore did. It solved a complex mathematical problem in just 200 seconds, a task that would have taken the world's fastest supercomputer an astonishing 10,000 years to complete. This landmark achievement marked a significant milestone in the field of quantum computing, demonstrating that quantum computers can outperform classical computers for certain specific tasks. Now, while the problem Sycamore solved was designed specifically to showcase the strengths of quantum computers, this breakthrough lays the foundation for future advancements and brings us one step closer to unlocking the full potential of quantum computing. And the potential applications of this quantum computing are vast and game-changing. 
One of the most promising applications lies in the field of drug discovery, where quantum computers could simulate the behavior of intricate molecules in chemical reactions. This would pave the way for developing new, more effective medicines. The financial industry is another sector that could be transformed with quantum computers. Quantum computers could enable faster and more accurate risk analysis, portfolio optimization and fraud detection. Optimizing investment portfolios based on projected returns, risk assessments and other factors is a daily task that could be significantly improved by quantum technology. Quantum computing could also revolutionize artificial intelligence and machine learning, enabling the development of more sophisticated algorithms that can learn from vast amounts of data. It can parse through massive data sets, simulate complex models and rapidly solve optimization problems, could lead to breakthroughs in natural language processing, computer vision and autonomous vehicles, enhancing the pace of AI or ML development. Computational chemistry is another area that could be transformed by quantum computing. Simulating quantum mechanical processes could aid in finding new materials such as room temperature superconductors, efficient carbon sequestration catalysts or improved battery chemistries. This will positively impact industries like agriculture, manufacturing and industrial design. Quantum computing also played a key role in optimizing the cybersecurity sector via quantum key distribution. Quantum key distribution utilizes quantum mechanics principles to generate secure encryption keys, providing an additional cryptographic layer of protection against cyber threats. Integrating quantum key distribution with robust cybersecurity measures, including quantum resistant algorithms and advanced threat detection mechanisms, can significantly fortify data protection and mitigate emerging quantum computing risks. Coherent integration of these technologies is crucial for achieving comprehensive, future proof cybersecurity. Of course, there are still significant challenges to overcome before it can be fully realized. One major challenge is the fragility of qubits, which require sophisticated cooling systems and extreme isolation to maintain their quantum states. Even minor disturbances can cause decoherence, resulting in errors. Preserving these delicate quantum states and increasing the number of qubits is an ongoing challenge. Furthermore, quantum computers operate via parallel processing in superposition states, leading to multiple possible outcomes. Only one of these is the desired correct result. Without error correction mechanisms, the final output would be randomly selected, rendering the computation useless. Tackling decoherence and developing robust error correction codes are critical areas of active research. Additionally, classical computing error correction is difficult enough, but quantum error correction is even more complex. In the quantum domain, errors can manifest in various ways, such as phase flips, bit flips, or a combination of both. These errors occur more frequently in quantum systems, making it crucial to develop robust error correction techniques. One of the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics is the no-cloning theorem, which states that it is impossible to create perfect copies of an arbitrary unknown quantum state. This theorem has profound implications in cryptography. For instance, encryption using quantum key distribution ensures that any attempt to intercept and clone quantum carriers will introduce detectable errors, thus enhancing security. Another interesting aspect is the ratio of logical qubits to physical qubits. This ratio depends on various factors such as the technology used, the algorithms employed and the error rates encountered. Higher error rates necessitate the use of more physical qubits to maintain desired level of reliability and performance. However, India is up for these challenges and is attentively focusing on the development of quantum computing. It recognizes the strategic importance of quantum technologies and is making significant investments to become a global leader in this field. In 2020, the government in its 2020 budget announced a national mission on quantum technology and applications with a total budget outlay of Rs 8,000 crore for a period of five years under the supervision of the Department of Science and Technology. Additionally, on April 19, 2023, the Cabinet approved the National Quantum Mission, which was conceptualized by the Prime Minister's Science Technology Advisory Council and would cost Rs 6,003.65 crore over eight years. The mission's goal is to seed, nurture and scale up scientific and industry R&D while also creating a dynamic and inventive ecosystem in quantum technology. This would expedite the QT-led economic growth, strengthen the country's ecosystem and position India as a leader in QT development and applications. This eight-year program aims to foster research, development and innovation in quantum technologies. Moreover, academic institutions like the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore and the Indian Institute of Technology in Madras are also establishing dedicated research centers to advance quantum computing. 
IISC is setting up a quantum technologies and application center to focus on developing software and algorithms for near-term quantum computers, while IIT Madras is undertaking fundamental research in quantum cryptography, communication, sensing and networks. The Indian Institute of Technology Mundi is creating a photon-powered quantum computer that operates at ambient temperature. The GPU uses quantum physics and a quantum algorithm. The National Quantum Mission seeks to enhance feature learning and categorization across multiple domains. These investments and initiatives demonstrate India's commitment to harnessing the power of quantum computing and positioning itself as a key player in the global quantum landscape. By nurturing a skilled workforce and promoting collaboration between academia, industry and government, India aims to unlock the potential of quantum technologies for national development and competitiveness. The quantum revolution is well underway, and while challenges remain, the possibilities are endless. From revolutionizing industries to unlocking the deepest mysteries of the universe, quantum computing is rewriting the limits of what's possible, blurring the boundaries of reality as we know it. So the next time you hear someone talk about quantum computing, don't let your eyes glaze over. Remember, you are witnessing the birth of a new era in computation, where the rules of reality bend and the boundaries of what's possible are being rewritten with each quantum leap forward.